Hi, this is Chris Branwell, Product Manager at Protometer, and this is a short video about our new Protometer Hygromaster 2 Thermal Hygrometer. This is the latest in the line of the new family of products from Protometer and follows the same design pattern of our, as our other products. This is, in fact, looks like the MMS2 but significantly smaller. Um, and it has the same control system as the MMS2. So if you've been using an MMS2, this will be a very easy instrument for you to pick up and use straight away. Actually, for anybody who hasn't used our products, it's going to be very easy to use as well because we have a very simple, intuitive uh, user interface. So you press the center button to turn the instrument on. And you can go backwards in a display by pushing the left-hand button. It has an arrow that shows going backwards. And you go up and down here and press the center button to select. Once you've learned to do that, the rest of the instrument is very intuitive to, to use. So here's our relative humidity and temperature um, reading in hygrometer mode. And then you could go down to psychometric mode and select, for instance, uh, grains per pound. And here's our grains per pound at the top. But also you have relative humidity uh, and temperature on the bottom. You'll notice that it's in degrees F here. Well, if you wanted to change the degree C, it's pretty simple. Again, you press backwards, backwards, go down to settings, to units, and change it to metric. Now your readings will be shown in degree C. So very simple to use and operate. In terms of features, as I mentioned, we've got our standard hygrometer mode. In psychometric mode, we have dew point, grams per kilogram or grains per pound, enthalpy, vapor pressure. And you also see this display custom. That means you can select a parameter, or up to four parameters in fact, that are customizable so that you can actually have your own custom display on the unit that you can keep on all the time. So in order to use that, you actually go down into settings again, to custom, and then you select the parameters you want to see. So actually I'm deselecting them here, but I'm gonna select them in the order that I want them to show on the, dis on the custom display. So I want dew point first, then I want relative humidity, and then I have grams per kilogram, and then I have vapor pressure. Once you've done that, just hit backwards, backwards into psychometrics, and then down to custom, and here's your own custom display in the order that we selected them. When the meter turns off, which it will do automatically, or you can turn it off by holding the center button down, uh, when you turn it back on, you'll come straight back to this display, so you don't need to scroll up and down. Um, and in fact, on any of the functions, you'll come back to your last function. So that's uh, some of the simple functions here that uh, you know, really give you some great usability for this, for this meter. You'll notice it says surface temperature probe. Well, actually, that's for an auxiliary surface temperature probe that you can plug into the side for certain applications. But we also have an uh, infrared surface temperature sensor with laser pointer. And you just start that by pushing this button here. And you'll see immediately, you'll see the surface temperature at the top, the dew point, and our surface temperature differential. That means it's the surface's proximity to dew point. So as that number would lower to um, you know, close to zero, you would get an, uh, a, that green signal turn to a yellow, and then once you hit dew point, it'll turn to red, and that means condensation is occurring at that time. It takes the relative humidity and temperature of the room and the surface temperature and calculates the surface's proximity to dew point. And in fact, we have a buzzer on here. You can now stand in the room and shine this at the wall and when it finds condensation, it'll actually give you an audible warning as well. So very handy to look for condensation extremely quickly. If we go into the settings menu here, you can see other settings like language. We have multiple languages in here. The units we already went into, the custom we already went into. You can set the time, time and date if you're doing data logging. And you can also do data logging right on the unit as well. So you can set data logging up in here, or you can set it up on the software that you can get from our website. You can, turn, you can change when you want the instrument to turn off automatically. You can also turn it off by just pressing and holding the center button. And then you can also change the brightness. Now, I have it on 10 here for the purposes of the video, but you might want to reduce that to uh, 5, something like that. Remember, the brightness of the color display will affect the battery life. So if you don't need it on high, I would select uh, something like 5. 
the buzzer, you can turn it on and off so you don't get that buzz every time you do a key press, uh, but that will turn off the uh, condensation detection feature that I just spoke about. Uh, we also have the ability, as I mentioned, to data log, and you can set up the data logging in here, on the unit, or in the software, as I already mentioned. Um, and then you can also uh, con connect to your computer in two different ways. So under USB connection, we have two ways that uh, you can see data. You can use our own bespoke uh, software um, that will allow you to graph and uh, see all that data. We can use something called File Viewer. That means when you plug the instrument into the USB on your computer, it will appear in your file manager just like a USB card or a camera would appear. And within that folder there, you will see a comma-separated file that can be opened in Excel with all the data that you saved. So that means that you can get data off of this without really installing any form of software. Onto the unit itself, it's extremely fast responding uh, with the sensor here. This is our quick stick, our short quick stick. The longer quick sticks that we've been selling for some years also fit in here, as do the hygro sticks, which are typically used in high moisture applications like flooring. So it'll take all our previous uh, humidity sensors and they're replaceable. And the advantage of the product being replaceable is that should this get damaged or go out of calibration, you don't need to send your whole meter off for recalibration. You can just order a new probe, plug it in, and uh, you're back in business. So that's a brief overview of the new Protometer Hygromaster 2. You can find more uh, at our website, uh, which is uh, www.hygromaster2.com, or you can go to uh, www.protometer.com and link to it from there. Thank you very much.